What is going on guys, Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about some of the best items for new players to buy from the Crown Store. Now these items are not going to be cosmetic items. Those are some really cool, there's a lot of cool stuff in the store. But if you're a person that wants to play the game for a long time, you've been playing for a little while and you're not sure what to buy, these are going to be items that I would recommend for all fans to purchase if, like I said, you plan on playing for a while. Now if you're just going to play off and on, I don't know if you would absolutely need these, but if you plan on playing, you know, a lot, uh, these are definitely highly recommended. The first thing I'm going to talk about, of course, down here in the upgrade section is going to be the banker and the merchant. You have an option to buy any of these four. Uh, of course, when I bought the banker and the merchant, all we had was the original, uh, you know, options here. But even the two uh, new cats are really, really cool looking. They were added a couple years ago, a couple years back, a couple patches back. And um, they're really neat looking. I, I thought about purchasing these myself just because they look so cool. But they all do the same thing. They all offer you the same thing. And of course, that's going to be, if you have the merchant, you can open this merchant up at any time when you're out in the world adventuring and to sell all your items. You don't have to worry about traveling back to a town. When it comes to the banker, of course, you can open this banker up and then bank any items you don't want to keep in your inventory. It's also great for storing gold. What I do is I keep all my gold in the bank. I have so many characters. That way, no matter what character I'm on, all my gold is there and I can just pull out what I need. So... The banker and the merchant are two must-haves, in my opinion. Now, they are kind of expensive, 5,000 crowns each. Of course, you can just save your crowns up that you get with your ESO Plus every month and then purchase one of these. Uh, they will go on sale from time to time here in the store. I think they go down to 4,000 crowns each, so keep an eye out for that. Also, if you want to buy them with real-world money, you can do that as well. They do have crown sales a lot, so uh, you can get more bang for your buck. You can get more crowns for cheaper. Uh, and you can do that also. But in my opinion, if you are a fan of the game, you plan on playing for a long time, the merchant and the banker are must-haves. Now, some other things down here in the upgrade list that are must-haves, in my opinion, that are not quite as expensive is the Warbor and the Pack Rat. They're both 1,200 crowns each. They will give you five inventory slots or five bag space slots on your character each. These are very handy to have also. As you can see, my bag space and bank space are fully upgraded. You can upgrade these in-game with in-game gold so you don't have to purchase these with crowns but in my opinion you don't ever have enough bag space so the boar and the pack rat will give you five bag space slots each so like i said you get a total of 10 the great thing about this this is account wide so all the characters on your uh, all the characters on your account will have these extra 10 slots you do not have to have these non-combat pets active uh, to be able to use them as long as they're just in your inventory, as long as you own them, you can get the five slots from each for a total of 10 slots, like I said, on all a character's account wide. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is going to be over here in the special offer section. This is going to be the Any Race, Any Alliance bundle. Now, this is mainly, I think, for people that enjoy PvP. Uh, you can still use it for a PvE character. But this is a little bit different than when I purchased it. When I purchased it years ago, it was just the token itself. It didn't have the bundle. But now you get a bundle. It's a better deal, actually, for 2,000 crowns. This token doesn't go away. It's not like a one-time use or anything. What you do is you purchase this token, and from any point from now on, after you purchase it, you will be able to create any character, any race, and you can put it in any alliance. So, for example, I have a high elf. So if I wanted to make a new high elf character and put it in the Ebonheart Pact or the Dagger Fall Covenant, you are allowed to do that. Keep in mind, you cannot change the alliance of a character that you already have created it only works for new characters that's why i said it's kind of good for pvp fans because if you have friends that have played the game for a while you just kind of started playing uh, they play pvp once again for example in the dagger fall covenant or the evan heart pact you already have a high elf character created and you can't play with them you know you can't play in that same alliance in cyrodiil you can go in make you a new uh you know if you want to be a mag sort in uh as a high elf in pvp and cyrodiil you could just go in make you a new one for pvp and choose that race and make it in any alliance so that is a really uh good benefit of this bundle like i said you do get some other things that i didn't get back in the day uh when this was just the token itself but like i said it's a multi-use it doesn't run out it's not like you only can use it one time or anything it will always be there so anytime you make a new character after you purchase this you will be able to make that any race and in any alliance. Uh, some honorable mentions here, guys, of some things that aren't necessary right off the bat but are handy. Uh, back to the upgrade section, the additional character slots are nice. You can have a total of 18 characters in all. Uh, the digital Imperial Edition, if you want to have the Imperial Race, is where you have to purchase this. Also, you can purchase the Necromancer class and the Warden class 
If you do not have the DLCs that offer these, you're not sure if you're going to buy those DLCs, you can buy these classes individually. So you'll just have the class itself. But, you know, if you're just look into the things you're going to buy when you buy the game. If you're planning on buying, you know, the game now, you can buy all kinds of different editions that have all the DLCs available. But if you've just purchased the base game, you want to just buy the Necromancer and buy the Warden, you can do that as well. Like I said, this, these two and the additional character slots and the digital Imperial edition are kind of just um, secondary in my opinion. There are, there are some good things that you can buy, don't get me wrong. But the Banker, the Merchant, the two uh, non-combat pets, and the Alliance, any race, any Alliance token, are the best things in my opinion. But like I said, the Banker and the Merchant are the top on my list if you are a new player and you plan on playing for a long time. Anyway, I hope this helped you out. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. And check out everything down in the description. The community Discord, my Twitter, and of course the new affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. I have an affiliate link down there if you'd like to purchase some beef jerky from them. Really great stuff. Tons of different flavors, and there's also a 5% off discount code listed in the description as well you can use when you check out. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.